Hello and welcome. So in this video, we will be talking about five types of tokenizers uh, from the Hugging Face Transformers library, which is the core and uh, state of the art natural language processing library, which is used in the deep learning area. Okay. So what is tokenizing uh, basically, right? So what if I had a sentence like uh, sample text is equal to what is my name okay cool now the tokenization is basically converting uh, the word into a index value all right so this basically means that suppose i had this sample text and the tokenized version will be tokenized text will be uh, let's say what corresponds to one index is corresponds to 24 my corresponds to uh, 89 and name corresponds to 69 or something okay these are just random values i've taken for just an example to show you what is actually tokenization okay so why is there a need to convert word string like right strings of word into index of integers or float right so basically it is done to ensure that our machine is capable of understanding numbers right not string of words right so that is why we need to convert our strings into integers in order to make our machine understand cool so this is what is tokenizing and now we will get to the uh, tokenizers from the hugging face library okay so for that we need to uh, install the transformers hugging face library so we will do pip, pip install trans Transformers. Okay, so this will install the Hugging Face Transformers library on the Google Collab session, and I will clear the output in order to make things clean. Okay, so basically we will be talking about the bird tokenizers. Okay, the there are basically five approach which I'll be showing you in this tutorial, uh, with the help of which we can obtain the same result. Okay, cool. So I'll say tokenizer is equal to uh okay so first i will import the libraries from transformers import bird tokenizer okay. and now i'll set up bird tokenizer from pre-trained and i'll uh, just use the bird base uncased model okay so this will uh, download the tokenizer from the bird tokenizer cool so next step is to let's say we have an ex, uh, sample text or this my or subscribe to my channel okay so yep this is will this will be my sample text and now i will use the first approach okay so but before uh, showing you the uh, tokenization methods i just want to tell you the difference between the uh, three uh, important terms that we need to uh, explain while implementing the tokenizing part so we have input ids uh, attention mask and segment ids okay so these are the three things we need in order to uh, provide the input to our bird model when training all right so input ids are basically the tokens all right these are just the tokens for example i have a sample text and then we tokenize into uh, different words for example sub subscribe uh, to my channel all right and also the exclamation mark all right so this is the uh, tokenized version of this and then we will convert it into a integer tokens all right then that will be let's say subscribe corresponds to any random index let's say one two three four and five for simplicity okay so this is what is tokenizing now these this is known as the input ids this one all right so input ids are basically the index values so those index value corresponds to a, a huge embedding from the transformers layers okay so suppose one all right in at index zero we have one corresponding uh, token id all right now that token id one corresponds to a larger embedding vector all right which consists of the meaning of the subscribe word 
इन मैथमेटिकल वे कूल एंड नेक्स्ट कम दटेंशन मास सो अटेंशन मास टेंसर इज टिपिकली अटेंसर कंटेनिंग वन एंड जीरो विद द सेम डायमेंशन एज आर टोकन आई डीज दैट इज द इनपुट आई डीज टेंसर ओके आर ट्रांसफॉर्मर मॉडल्स विल कैलकुलेट अटेंशन फॉर टोकन इन द टोकन आई डीज टेंसर ओनली इफ द अटेंशन मास टेंसर कंटेन्स अ वन इन एट्स रिस्पेक्टिव पोजिशन ओके सो वट so this basically means that if i have attention mass is so and suppose i have and suppose the maximum length of the whole data frame would be around 10 all right but right now i have 5 so this will be parried as pad token uh like this suppose my pad token is 101 or right? so if this will be 101 101 and 101 or we can also pad it with 0 right so wherever i have a token id that is not equal to 1 there will be the attention mask at that value will be 1 and and wherever it is 0 the attention mask will the attention mask will have a value of 0 so this is basically is what attention mask and input id is all right this basically helps us to calculate the attention for each word all right And next comes the segment IDs. So segment IDs are typically used where we have more than one part of our in our in our token IDs tensor. All right. For example, if we talk about the question and answer uh, application, we we will often split the token IDs tensor into questions and contexts. All right. So each segment are represented by zeros and ones in the segment IDs tensors respectively. Cool. So this was all about the terms that I discussed about. That is the input ids attention mask and segment ids or segment type ids you can say so that covers the essentials behind the tokenization for transformers and now we will get upon the uh, implementation of various tokenizing methods provided by the token a bird tokenizer in the hugging face library all right so the first way that we can tokenize our text consists of applying two methods to a single string all right so suppose i have this sample text and now what i will do is convert it into first different uh, tokens all right word tokens this is basically a word tokenization method all right so what i'll say is that uh, i'll say tokens is equal to tokenizers tokenizer dot tokenize my sample text okay and let's just print what we get so as you can see sub subscribe subscribe to my channel and exclamation mark this is called, known as word tokenization so this basically uh, uses the uh, i think word piece tokenization technique inside that this tokenizer uh, function all right so that is a bigger concept cool and now after getting the tokens we will convert them into token ids or the input ids that i discussed earlier all right so answer that token ids is equal to tokenizer dot convert tokens to ids okay so i'll say tokens ids so yeah we got our uh, input ids all right or token ids you can say so this is the first method that we can use to uh, tokenize our input data cool but uh, we need to make sure that we uh, we only apply this to a single text not a list of text right uh, if we want to apply on a list of text then we need to use a for loop okay and then uh, tokenize it one by one cool and you can notice that we do not get any uh, tension mask and segment type ids using this method all right so that is a disadvantage but yeah we can use it for a simpler task the next method we have is uh, the encode method all right so suppose i have this sample text and then i use the tokens is equal to uh, to tokenizer dot encode and here i will pass my uh, sample text and let's see the tokens so now you can see that it uh, automatically converts the uh, the sample text that is the string of sentence right into input ids automatically without uh, converting it first to the uh, tokens and then converting into token ids it directly converts the in, uh, string uh, input that is the sentence into token ids all right 
now as you can see uh, the encode method also outputs only the token uh, token ids and not the attention mask and segment type ids so the next method we are going to use is the encode plus method okay so i'll say tokens is equal to tokenizer dot encode underscore plus and i'll provide my sample text so it returns a dictionary containing the input ids uh, attention mask and segment type ids so as you can see we have input ids which corresponds to the same uh, uh, token uh, ids and the token type ids which is the uh, segment type ids you can say and the attention mask all right and here we have many arguments as you can see we have many arguments it has the text pair and add special tokens which corresponds to the pack token mask token uh, and the and the many various tokens all right and also the maximum length so let's just revise what we understand right now okay so we we had encode and encode plus method all right so both perform the two tokenization steps for single strings outputting a token id tensor all right and encode plus can do a little more right where encode outputs the token id tensor only whereas on the other hand if we talk about encode plus it outputs a dictionary containing the token ids tensor and the additional tensors such as the attention or segment ids tensors so this is how you would use the encode and the encode plus method all right this can be used to perform tokenization with the training of bert model process okay now for some additional parameters we can provide here just like a uh, max underscore length 512 now this is default 512 is default for bert okay you can uh minimize it for a sample text because we have a literally a four word sentence so we can do like 10 okay and padding let's say up to max length and return attention mask is true because you want the attention mask tensors pt because i'll be using pytorch so PyTOS tensors okay so actually the uh, I spelled the padding keyword incorrect okay I missed an I so I'll run it again so as you can see uh, the sentence finishes after the exclamation mark right here and after the exclamation mark that corresponds to 999 we have a uh, end end of uh, sentence token here 102 okay and now we have the padding token which corresponds to 0 so yeah that's it for this uh, encode plus method now in the real applications we will not be tokenizing a single string all right and we'll instead be tokenizing large batches of uh, text data so for this we can use the batch encode plus method so like encode plus encode batch can be used to build all of our required tensors like uh, token ids attention mask and segment ids all right so unlike encode plus we must pass a list of strings to batch encode plus instead of just a single string that we were passing earlier right the sample text so now it will also return us a list or batch of encoded tensors uh, instead, of, instead of just a single tensor right so let's see this in action so we have sample text let's say uh, so in suppose this is my two uh, text that i need to tokenize in order to feed this in uh, as an input to the bird all right now what will i do that tokens is equal to tokenizer dot uh, batch and code plus of and code plus and here i will pass my the sample text okay and now if i print them as you can see i have input ids i have a 2d uh, array of input ids right the first one is for the first sentence i don't know my name and the second tensor this one is for this sentence all right cool and we got the token type ids that's and the attention mask too all right and again we can use all of these in parameters as we used in our previous encode and encode plus methods too right the max length padding and return tensors add special tokens all those methods we can use here too so next and the last uh, tokenizer method we have is the tokenizer itself right 
we are not using any uh, method in particular we'll calling our tokenizer class directly so let's take a look at the example for example i have uh, tokens is equal to tokenizer now we won't use any method of this class like dot encode or something else we will use the tokenizer class itself so we will have tokens is equal to tokenizer and pass my sample text and let's see the tokens so as you can see we have got the input ids the token type ids and the attention mask cool isn't it and if i pass my sample text that is the list of texts we will get the list of uh, encoded tensors all right just as uh, just uh, similar to the our batch and code plus so this final method is performing the same operation as both encode plus and batch and code plus methods so when we are unsure as to whether we will need to use encode plus or batch and code plus we can use the tokenizer class directly right because as we have seen that it performs uh, both the operation uh, just like the batch and code plus and the encode plus methods or encode and this is also a simpler and shorter syntax all right instead of just using batch encode plus or encode plus you can just use the tokenizer class directly to tokenize your input sentences so yeah that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it so this was all about the tokenizers we have in the hugging face transformers library and how you can implement those so we have discussed about five of them